Meeting defeat before the mighty Guan Yu and the combined forces of Liu Bei and Sun Quan, Cao Cao retreated to his capital of Xuchang. Afterwards, Liu Bei used Jing province as a foothold to conquer Yi province, and the land entered the era of the three kingdoms of Wu, Wei, and Shu. Guan Yu chose to remain in Jing province and bolster its defenses against Wei and Wu. Then word came from Wu that Cao Cao was concentrating his forces on Jing province, thinking to deal with this himself and protect Liu Bei. Guan Yu rushed to Fan Castle. Father, are you sure our lord won't be angry? We weren't ordered to attack Fawn Castle. I've no time for that. This situation must be taken care of now. Brother must move to capture Han Zhang soon. Before you reap the harvest, you must cut the weeds. Makes sense. We must keep Fawn Castle from being a threat, but we'd need Chengdu to give us their help. So our lord couldn't move on Han Zhang. That means we'll have to spend more time on our conquest. Ugh. Sometimes the best way to defend is to attack. Ah, the enemy has moved quicker than us. My son Ping, we will become like great dragons. We will blow away the dark clouds that threaten this land. Right, father! <laughs> Cao Red is holed up in his castle. It will be difficult to pry him loose. However, with water, we should be able to do it. First, we must eliminate all of the enemy forces in the area around Fong Castle. I have come for your head! Uh, I claim another victory in the name of my brother! Name of my brother. Fight me now for glory. Here I go. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Amazing! We will have to display our strength as well! I claim another victory in the name of my brother! I have come to join the battle. Guan Yu, come and face me if you dare. Here I go. You think to outsmart me? Don't make me laugh.
We are in the most difficult spot. You? I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Wang Pi, head up river and alter its course so that the water flows towards Fong Castle. Here I go. That's the signal Father spoke of. The time is now! Look! The pig! They've cut through it! Waters have weakened the castle's defenses. Now is our chance to rush the castle. Hmm. <laughs> Using water to gain an advantage. I applaud you, Guan Yu. That is as far as you go. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Advantage. We must wait for the others before we can proceed. This is an important game for your icons. True to your reputation, such a display will boost the morale of our troops.
have no one to accompany you, then die! Uh, 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 Sorry, we uh, kept you waiting. Uh, we shall uh, repel the forces of uh, Yuan Yu. You bring allies and lay plans and still cannot find victory? And you do nothing without me? Our allies have arrived. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. The fate of my troops lies in my hands. I cannot fail them. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back. You believe you are a witch or a match from mine? I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Amazing! We will have to display our strength as well! I claim another victory in the name of my brother. This cannot have happened to me. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. We have taken Fawn Castle. Well fought. Now we should have peace here in Jing for a time. I have merely fulfilled my obligation to my lord. On you. You're all right. I thought I was too late. I was gathering men together. While you took care of important matters, I'm sorry that I worried you. No. I'm just glad that what I feared did not come to pass. But brother, there was no need for you to face this alone. 
I hope that you do not think that you cannot call on me. Brother, do you remember the oath that we swore that day? Of course. We swore that we would live, fight, and even die together. Yes. And no matter what kind of trouble might still face us, we must honor that oath. Guan Yu fought a difficult battle against both Wei and Wu, leaving nearly all of Jing province under the control of Xu. Afterwards, Wei and Wu resumed hostility towards one another, with the Wei army invading Jianye from Heifei, delivering a devastating blow to Wu. The three-way balance collapsed, leaving Liu Bei and Cao Cao as the only remaining powers in the land. Liu Bei recalled Guan Yu and led his forces to the plains of Wu Zhang in a bid to decide the final victor. Sensing a chance to end the chaos, Guan Yu burnished his blade one last time. We are nearing the end. Soon, brother. Just one more battle, and then we will realize your dream. Yeah. From beating up on yellow turban bandits to this. Who'd have guessed, huh? Who knew back then that I would ever be calling you my friend? Or should I say my brother? Oh, you looked like a weakling then. <laughs> I did not look weak, Zhang Fei. You! Didn't you think so as well? No. Even then I believed in Liu Bei and his vision, and that he'd be able to lead us. We have journeyed far. <laughs> Indeed we have! Guan Yu. Zhang Fei. We fight and live to create a new world.